there, it's Lawrence, and welcome back to another one of my Bath & Body Works videos. So, how was everyone's Mother's Day? I hope yours was well. Mine went really good. And happy belated Mother's Day to everyone out there who is a mother or takes on a motherly role. Those people definitely deserve to get recognized as well. Did anybody else incorporate Bath & Body Works into their Mother's Day? We definitely did. We put together a really sweet package for my mother-in-law. It was a moisturizing body wash, body cream, and then a hand soap and one of the Mother's Day candles. So we're really excited to send her that package and surprise her for Mother's Day, and I think that she did really enjoy it. And then my husband and my kids put together a little Bath & Body Works gift for me for Mother's Day, uh, with a little bit of my help, I will add, but it was really sweet. They wrapped the gifts for me and presented me my gift in, and then presented me my gift in this cute little bag. So that was really fun. I enjoyed every bit of Mother's Day. It was amazing. Yeah, so let me know if you guys incorporated Bath & Body Works into your Mother's Day as well. I'm really curious. I feel like body care is the perfect gift to tell someone thank you. Anyway, so I'm going to be sharing with you all of my empties from the month of May. I hope that you enjoy them. I know that I enjoyed most of them. And I will add that for some reason I did not finish any body care this month. I just... I don't know, I guess I am just working on so many different ones right now that, oh, hold on, bark break. Sadie, we're getting mail. I wonder if it's a Bath and Body Works package. Thanks mailbox man truck guy. That's what my daughter calls the mailbox man. I mean the mailman. She calls him mailbox man truck guy. So funny, I don't know. Okay, I've just been working on... <laughs> I've just been working through so many different products that it's kind of taking me a while to get to the bottom of each one because I am trying to finish up some products that I've been holding on to for a while now. So I have these old products, but I also just cannot help myself and I've been buying the new products and new scents because, oh my gosh, they're just so exciting, right? But let me just tell you, there are going to be so many body care products in next month's empties because... Boy, oh boy, I've been trying out a lot of different stuff and I've been having a really fun time with it. All right, so we finished up three of the Gentle Foaming Hand Soaps this month. The first one is from the Gentle and Clean collection. And I mentioned it before, my family loves this collection. Mm. Yeah, this one is the Wild Lavender Mint. And my husband actually really liked this one. And... When he told me that he liked this one, I was like, mm, write that down. I'll definitely get another one of these. Because I know when he asks me about it, there must have been something about it. This one was really nice. We'll definitely be repurchasing this one again. And because he mentioned that he liked it, I'll probably get um, a few more just to have on stock. And then this one is Violet and Parisha. Wow, this camera is... So much better than my other one. Keynotes are Fresh Honeysuckle, Freesia, and Violet. This one definitely has a nice, fresh, clean scent, and I would recommend it to anyone who likes florals. This was for sure a winner for me. And then we finished up Beautiful Day. Keynotes are Wild Daisies, Pink Peonies, and Sun-Kissed Apples. I really liked the packaging in this collection. It had a very natural look to it. I wonder if this one will smell anything like the denim and daisies. What does the daisy smell like? I feel like they're definitely not like a sweet floral. They kind of have more of a, um, kind of more of like a grassy scent, like a green, a green scent. Okay, so here is lavender coconut and this one was absolutely amazing. I did purchase another one because it really reminded me of Lavender Sea. And the keynotes in this one are Refreshing Lavender, Warm Coconut, and Vanilla Bean. And I know that Lavender Sea had lavender and coconut, so that's why I wanted to try out this one because I was hoping that they smelled similar and they for sure did, so definitely a winner. The second candle that I finished was Linen and Lavender. And I really like this one because it said dream on it. It's a really nice message and I think it's important to remember to dream and to follow your dreams. So loved this candle. 
And I will say that the linen and lavender scent is an amazing scent on Sundays. I don't know, for me, it's just an amazing scent to clean to and do laundry and all of those fun things on Sundays. So yeah, this is a good one. Okay, and finally, Emerald Waters. Uh, where did the lid go? I don't know. This candle actually got me really excited for a lot of the new scents that are coming out. Um, so this one is Salted Sea Waves Ocean Driftwood with a hint of orange blossom. And let me tell you, the orange blossom just it changed it. It changed everything for me. Like, I am a citrus girl now. Wow. So, I always thought that I was a straight-up floral girl, but I'm noticing that I'm really enjoying floral with just a little hint of citrus. It's just like, the citrus just really sweetens up the floral, you know? And I'm all about it. So Emerald Waters, I definitely recommend it, and I think I'm going to repurchase it, although I don't know if I want to repurchase this one or test out another one that may lead me down a whole nother scent trail. Okay, so those are all of the products that I finished up in the month of May. May? Was it May? Yes, May. Three soaps, three candles, and there will be a lot more empty body care products in the future, I promise. All right, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.